To add an account to the chart of accounts, click on the upper right on the gear icon and select Chart of Accounts. From the top right, click New. And as you can see, you have a lot of account category types to choose from. More than likely, you'll be adding income or expenses. So we'll choose expenses. Accounts at QBO also have detail types. And as you can see, there's a fairly long list of detail type accounts. So you should be able to find one that matches. And if not, I normally just choose other miscellaneous service cost. It really doesn't hurt anything if you get this wrong. So I'll choose legal and professional because I want to add legal fees to my chart of accounts. And I want to change this to just say legal fees. I have the option of adding a description, but I really don't need to if I've done a good job of naming my account properly. Now I want to make legal fees a sub account. So I will click here, is sub account. I want to make it a sub account of professional fees. So I see that I have a main account called legal and professional fees. I'll select that and I'll click save. And then when we scroll down, we can see that we have our account already set up legal fees. And that's how you add an account in the chart of accounts. Here are some best practices when working with your chart of accounts. How do you know whether you need an account? How do you know if you're, you're adding too many sub accounts? I'll give you an example. Hopefully this will clear it up. If you want to track travel expenses and add sub accounts for airfare, auto, hotel, and travel meals, would that be reasonable? The answer is yes. But if you want to track office supplies by paper clips, pens, paper, toner, binders, notebooks, and 10 other subcategories, those are too many subcategories. It will clutter up your chart of accounts and reports. So it's best when working with your chart of accounts to not get overly detailed. Now I'll leave you with an assignment so that you can set up your own chart of accounts. First, you need to add your bank and credit card accounts. Then you need to edit or add income accounts for the types of income you will have, such as product income or services income. You may want to use sub accounts to further categorize your sales income. Edit or add cost of goods sold if you sell products or track inventory. Delete accounts you clearly don't need if you'll never use them. And don't worry if you don't know what to do with an account. Just leave it on the chart of accounts and you can deal with it later. Be sure that you set up your income and cost of goods sold accounts before you continue setting up your company in QBO. This is a necessary step before you set up your products and services list.